I said, empty your mind. Hey everybody, welcome to episode two of Ask Sifu. Now, Ask Sifu is a new Wing Chun series on my channel where you can ask me any questions you like and I will get to those questions in a format like you're seeing today. Now, today's question is a very commonly asked question. Um, what is the difference between modified and traditional Wing Chun Kung Fu? And in order to kind of answer that, we're gonna talk about three things. Who modified this? Why they modified it? And what's the major differences you're gonna see between traditional and modified Kung Fu today in an application? So before I get started, do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, one inch punch that bell notification, and give these videos a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. So let's talk about the gentleman that modified the art of Wing Chun Kung Fu and where he falls in the history. So I'm briefly gonna get into some of the history of Wing Chun Kung Fu. Now, five masters within a Chinese temple created the art of Wing Chun Kung Fu. The temple was burnt down, and one of the masters that escaped was a Buddhist nun, and her name was Ning Mu. Later on, she adopted an orphan girl, named the orphan girl Yim Wing Chun, and taught her the system that she created with the five masters and named the system Wing Chun. Now, Yim Wing Chun wound up getting married to Lung Bak Cho, and she taught the system to him, and he passed the system down to two gentlemen. One of them was Lung Yi Tai, and the other was Wang Wang Bo. Now, don't worry about the names, bear with me here. So Lung Yi Tai taught somebody, a Chinese herbalist called Lung Jun. Now Lung Jun is the gentleman that modified the art, and I'll get into that in just a minute, but Lung Jun taught his sons, one of his sons, Lung Bik, and the other person he taught was Cham Wa Sun. Now these two gentlemen are basically responsible for teaching somebody you will recognize the name of, and that is Ip Man. So those were Ip Man's Sifus, Lumbic and originally Chamwa Sun. So that's where most people are well aware of Ip Man. He's one of the most popular Wing Chun instructors and that's because Bruce Lee studied at his school and when Bruce Lee became famous, everybody wanted to know more about Bruce Lee and they discovered he trained at the Ip Man school and then so on and so on the story goes. So now, why did Lung Jun modify the art of Wing Chun Kung Fu for Cham Wa Sun? So Lung Jun was an herbalist. He was teaching his sons. And he noticed he had a neighbor that was being very persistent and spying in on him, wanting to learn the system. And Lung Jun originally did not want to train him. But after being very persistent, he wound up teaching and training Cham Wa Sun. We'll just call Cham Wa Sun the nosy neighbor, right? Now, so why did he modify it for him? Well, you could say one is he didn't want to show him the traditional way he was taught and wanted to kind of keep that as like a family secret, keep that for his sons. Or two, what rumor has it, Cham Wa Sun was an incredibly large individual. Therefore, he modified the art to suit him more. Where Cham Wa Sun happened to be so big he didn't and strong, he didn't need to um, sidestep. He could simply pivot and just crush through his opponent. And he probably had the lower Tan Sal as well because he's always facing opponents more downward. So therefore, he modified the system of Wing Chun Kung Fu to work for Cham Wa Sun, who happened to be an incredibly large individual at the time. Now, as I said, at some point, both these individuals wound up teaching Ip Man. So Ip Man originally had studied under Cham Wa Sun, doing the modified art. And then later on, he met Lung Bik, Lung Jun's son, and Lung Bik taught him the traditional art of Wing Chun Kung Fu. So that's the history of where the gentleman came from that modified it and why he modified it. Now let's take a look at some of the major differences you see in application today. But the major differentiating factor between these two styles is the footwork. With the modified, you see a lot of this pivoting action, right? And with the traditional, you see more of a step follow, where we're stepping off the line of force. Students ask me all the time, which is better? And clearly, I believe the traditional footwork, for me, is much better. And the modified footwork, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying there's a lot more room for error with the modified footwork. 
You'll notice if I'm just pivoting, if somebody comes in and I go to do something as I pivot, I haven't got off the line of force. So if there's any flaw in my technique, I'm probably gonna get steamrolled and wind up on my butt. Whereas if I'm stepping here and somebody comes in and I sidestep, I've stepped off the line of force and I can attack at an angle. And I use this analogy all the time. Picture you're on a train track and the train is coming at you. Are you gonna just pivot all day long or are you gonna step off the track, right? You're gonna step off the track. Notice a bullfighter, when the bull comes at them, they're not just gonna pivot right in front of the bull, they do some footwork where they sidestep the bull's force. So anytime you're using this footwork, I find it's more advantageous to just step off the line of force than to just pivot on the line of force. And I'm gonna bring in a partner here so we can kind of show you, give you a better example. Let's just do this, let's try this. Take a left neutral stance, and I'm in a left neutral stance, if he pushes, push straight on me, and I pivot, notice how I'm kind of falling back. Now, I'm not gonna say you can't do that, because if he pushes here, you'll see a lot of guys that are really good at this, and they're able to just pivot and deflect that energy. But push really hard, most likely I'm gonna wind up getting thrown back. It's just a lot of force, and once I said, I'm just not getting off that line of force. So push again. As I pivot, there's that chance I can get blown back. And I, I believe that's gonna happen to most people in a fight against a larger, stronger opponent. They're not gonna know how to handle that and they're gonna get blown away. Now, if I'm in the same force, same footwork, left neutral, he isn't a left neutral, you can push it as hard as you want. When I sidestep, notice I just let go of that energy and then I'm here. So once again, as I'm here, I'm just sidestepping off that line of force and I'm able to deal with this attack much better. Uh, throw a punch with his hand. It was simple, sidestepping off the line of force. Bam, sidestepping off the line of force, and then it gives me this angle to attack on, where it's giving my strength against his weakness and his strength away from me. So I find it much more advantageous to simply sidestep off that line of force than trying to pivot and hope there's no error so the sidestepping footwork gives you a lot more room for error than the pivoting footwork. And that's my two cents on the two variations of footwork between the traditional and the modified style. So thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a comment down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, one inch punch that bell notification. Give the video a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you wanna do is fine with me. And I hope to see you at the next video. Thank you and have a great day.